Outside Buckingham Palace, the world's media digest the enormity of it all. A suicidal senior royal left unsupported, accusations of racism and a family splintered. But will it signal a new dawn for an institution seen as a symbol of British values? You have to prioritise you know, prioritise your mental health. Publicly, the royals called for better mental health awareness, yet it seems all the while the firm was failing one of its own. Not many people have asked if I'm OK. In 2019, we got a glimpse of Meghan's turmoil. Now we know the extent of it. Just as Harry talking to me about the breakdown he experienced after his um, mother died. I think it's, these are real, this is like the onion unpeeling. These are, these are really important moments, actually. I hope that this launches a bigger conversation about um, suicidal feelings and how common they are and how we should be talking about them. The couple's description of racism within the royal family would be proof of discrimination at the very highest echelons of British life. Barrister Paula Roan Adrian says Meghan spoke for many in the UK. Everything that Meghan and Harry said really resonated with me. It resonated with me because they were describing my life. Um, they were describing that tightrope that I have to walk every single day when I leave my house. This interview was always going to be blockbuster, attracting global attention. But the question now is just how deeply, how fundamentally, this could change the royal family, people's view of it, and in turn, British society. Will this damage the royal family? The nature of monarchy, um, and perhaps one of the reasons it's lasted so successfully, is that it is able to adapt. There are issues that, uh, that need to be addressed, but I don't think the palace is going to rush into making a lot of statements. At the couple's first official public engagement in Nottingham, there was excitement. Today in the city, how do people feel? Harry's took his wife out of a toxic situation, which Prince Charles should have done to Diana, but he didn't. I think it's very sad. It's you know, Prince Philip being ill at the moment and all this coming on the TV. Whatever the repercussions for the monarchy, discussing mental health and racism on a global stage will have an impact. Rebecca Barry, ITV News.